Today we're going to make my variation, one of my favorite Italian dishes, a classic called porchetta. My variation is I am, instead of using pork belly, I'm using the pork butt. I love it, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a dry rub on it with all of the classic porchetta spices. Leave it on there for 36 hours, and then we're going to cook it for five hours at 300 degrees, and it's the best pull-apart porchetta you can ever have. So we'll make the brine, and the brine is a vegetable brine. It's a cup of champagne vinegar, or it could be any vinegar of your choice. Do a half a cup of white balsamic, and I like white balsamic because it's got this, it's a fruity aroma, right? So white balsamic has a fruity aroma. If you don't have it, just use champagne, it's fine. And then we'll put three quarters of a cup of sugar, three quarters of a cup of water, and then our herb sachet, which is bay leaves, star anise, cinnamon sticks, and peppercorns. And I tie it up in cheesecloth. Take this, twist it, and then just tie it with a piece of twine. And this adds beautiful aroma to it. And what we'll do is we're going to bring this to a boil, cool it, and then pour it over our sliced vegetables. Now, today I'm using onions, carrots, peppers, and fennel and Fresno chilies, which I love. The important thing is you cook it, simmer it, cool it, and then pour it over whatever you're pickling. It could be anything. So we'll take a pepper. And so what I do is I just cut it in half, grab the core, and just pull it out and trying to get minimum waste here. You can cut them smaller, you can dice them, you can oblique cut them, you can diamond cut them, whatever you want. Today, I'm just going to slice them, so. So today I'm using a red onion. I like red onions. I like the color, I like the flavor. They're a little mild. I'm just gonna slice it to match my peppers. And there we go, right into it. Next we'll do our fennel. Beautiful fennel, I just wash it. Cut the stalks. I save these for vegetable stock, they're wonderful. Cut this in half. Again, cut the core out a little bit here. Cut this pretty thin. All right, so I'm cutting our Fresno chilies and these here, they're really fruity and they have a great flavor, but I still, the seeds are still always hot like in any pepper. They do have a kick if you eat the seeds. So I take them out and I just cut these into rings. These go into the mix. Again, all these you wanna to try to get, make sure any organic vegetable is better because of obviously how it's grown, and also superior flavor. So these are beautiful organic carrots. And then you just cut slices. All right, our stock, our pickle is simmered. We're done. I'm gonna pull this aside now, let it cool, and then we'll pour it over the vegetables later. I'm preparing this rub and this brine two days before I'm going to cook it. And that's what you should do. So the, the, the dry rub should be on 24 to 36 hours to penetrate this meat. This is a nine pound piece of pork. It needs time to get through it. I prefer 36 hours. So I'm making the pickled vegetables now while I'm going to dry rub this. And then in two days when I cook it, these will be ready, delicious, crunchy, and wonderful. Okay, so now we're going to make the dry rub for the porchetta, which is really interesting in particular. So I have chopped rosemary, chopped fresh thyme, quite a bit in ratio, okay? And then lots of chopped garlic. We're going to put about a quarter cup of chopped garlic. We're going to put salt, a third of a cup of salt, two thirds of a cup of sugar. And this is the dry rub that's actually curing the meat. And that's what we want. So we're gonna stir this with a spoon and then we're gonna poke holes in the meat and rub it all over, we're not done. Here I have black peppercorns whole, I always use fresh. I don't like to buy them pre-ground because they're not as fresh, they don't have that aroma. I'm going to put them in my spice mill. And I like them a little rougher. So that's what we want. We want it a little bit, it has some texture in it, okay? All right, so everything's in here. Rosemary, thyme, salt, sugar, Lots of garlic, cracked pepper, so it's an aggressive seasoning. Porchetta is aggressively spiced. Well, now the final product. So, you can either, A, get fennel seeds, which you can find everywhere, whole, whole. Put them in your spice mill uh, after your pepper, grind them up, put them in here, 
or break them with the back of the pan, right, to release the oils. This is important from Italy. It's called fennel pollen. It's super aromatic and very Tuscan. Okay, so mix this around well. This is an eight and a half, nine pound piece of pork butt, which is the shoulder. It's bone in, which is what we want. You can get boneless if you want. I, bone in is better and you wanna keep all the fat. I don't trim anything off. These come like this, ready to go. And then I just wanna just make about 12 to 15 incisions all over the top. We'll do a little bit on the side here and it'll allow this awesome dry rub to, to permeate and scent and flavor and aromatize this meat. So I'm gonna take it in my, my big pot, I'm gonna plunk it in here, turn it upside down first, and then generously like pile this stuff on, right? That's what you want. We're gonna pile this on. The bottom you don't need to worry about so much because all of the salt and sugar and aroma, it's going to draw excess moisture out of the meat it's gonna make a puddle on the bottom. So you don't really need to go crazy on the bottom. The top and the sides are more important because this fat needs to be penetrated, right? So I'm going to focus more. I, of course, I do some on the bottom and then more of this. And you see, I'm, cake, I'm putting it on here. I'm packing it in and that's what we wanna do. So we'll let this sit in the fridge for 24 to 36 hours. I'm doing 36 because I prefer it. It has more flavor, has more time, but 24 hours is fine too. And then what we'll do is the morning of before we cook this. So you wanna pull this out two to three hours before you roast it so that the internal temp is ambient temp so it doesn't have to go from one extreme to the other. So after this part is done, it will cook for five hours at 300 degrees and wait till you see the result. There you have it. Okay, so our porchetta has been marinating for 36 hours. Now it's time to cook this. The first thing is I wanna show you is the crust. So you can see where it's like a shell on there. The salt, the sugar, the fennel pollen, the rosemary, the thyme and the cracked pepper and all that juice in the bottom. That's the extraction, right? That ex it concentrates the flavor. And what we wanna do is you wanna scrape everything off thoroughly because it'll be too much seasoning for this. So now I'll take this, that's good. You don't need to worry about it. You don't need to rinse it off or anything, but this is what you wanna clean out. So this, I cook it in the same pan that I marinated in you can use another pan if you like. I'm going to just wash this out real quick, put the roast in and then we'll cook it. Now our pan is clean and the pork is scraped and ready to go. It's important, I want to show you this. This is the bottom, which was the bottom when we marinated it for the last 36 hours. And here's the top, this is the fat cap. You want the fat cap on top. So as it cooks, it melts and bastes naturally the roast. All this wonderful fat will melt into the pan and I'll show you periodically, I'll be basing this about every 30 minutes. Cook it at 300 degrees. I put the convection fan on, which means there's air moving in the oven. 300 degrees is, is relatively low. It's important that you pull this roast out because this weighs eight and a half pounds, a couple hours before you cook it. You want the meat to temper, meaning become more like the ambient temperature so it's not ice cold in the middle when you put it in because then it will cook unevenly. So we're going to cook this 40 minutes a pound is my approximate measure at 300 degrees depending on your oven. So this will be about five, five and a half hours and I'll show you along the way. We'll base it every 30 minutes with the fat that's going to come off of this, this roast. Back in the oven. So here we are, the porchetta. It's been in the oven for five hours. It's tender, it's ready to go. An important step in this process is to rest it. I've let this rest for an hour. You want it to rest for at least an hour. If you pull it out like any roast and you cut into it too early, all the juices will come out and it'll be dry. So let's, I'm gonna pull it out of the roasting pot to show you this beautiful piece. This is the fat that was on top and all the, you can see the bones here, but I want you to listen to this. Hear this? That's, that's beautiful, that's music. So now I'm gonna break into this and just cut this open. Oh my God, feel that crust? This is, this is insane. So see that? It's been resting an hour. See how hot it is inside still? So it's essentially like you're making pulled pork, right? But Italian style. So now you just wanna kinda treat it like pulled pork and you can shred it. Clearly this is a lot of meat. I hope you have many guests. If you don't, this is a great showstopper. This is something to do. You could feed easily eight to 10 people with this. Today we're doing it with a little bruschetta. And here's how I do it. I just put some of the meat right on the bread. 
Pile it on nice. I have some HDOP provolone. I'm gonna put this on top. I got some arugula you can put on there. And this is our vegetable pickle that we made the other day. It's been for 36 hours along with this resting, so for two days at this point. Delicious, sweet, and it's got all this wonderful vinegary taste. And the Fresno chilies have an awesome bite. This is a great condiment to cut through all that fat. Put this, look at this, look at this. This is insane. So I'm telling you, you're gonna fight for the skin. People are gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be an issue in your house.